Welcome to my Starfield Smoothness Guide. In this guide, I'm going to be going over different mods and different settings, as well as any tweaks to get your game running smooth as butter. Now, it depends on your hardware still. So even with some of these mods, you still might not be able to max out the game if your hardware isn't strong enough to handle it, but these mods will increase performance. Uh, they will help with like PC inputs and mouse lag and all these things and mouse acceleration. Uh, so to begin, let's jump into the first mod. So the first thing you will want to get, now this is obviously for PC users, is Vortex. Vortex is a mod manager that can manage mods for a bunch of modern games. Uh, it also manages things like Skyrim, Fallout, and so on. So you download mod manager uh, Vortex, the link is in the description, and then you will want to get your first mod. The Starfield Performance Boost. The link will be in the description for this as well. Now what this does, if you look at the mod files, so after you install Vortex, you can just download this all-in-one Performance Plus. Uh, this will give you roughly 5-15% to 15 more frames, which is a huge increase, and most of the people who have used this, myself included, have noticed a substantial increase in performance. So just this mod will give you a huge boost in performance. For the next mods, we have Aim Assist, Disabler, and More Responsive Movement. So as far as I can tell, this only affects FPS movement. So in third person, when you AD strafe, like AD spam, you move back and forth when strafing, uh, you will notice there is like momentum, so you don't really move fluidly or quickly. So there's kind of like a delay. And first person, this seems to reduce the delay. So when you strafe left and right, it's more responsive and faster and doesn't have as much like momentum or like slowness to it and the aim assist as far as i can tell is just on things like the ship and maybe there's like slight bullet magnetism in you know basic fps play now with controllers from what i understand there's more aim assist so i just downloaded this just to cover my bases but it does seem to affect movement in a substantial way in first person so if you want to be running around faster strafing more precisely this seems to do that all right the next mod this is a huge mod all right this one should give you an insane amount of performance. So Starsfield, or Starsfield, Starfield Upscaler replaces FSR2 with DLSS or XESS. Now you will need an RTX graphics card to run this, and there's a few steps to this. Uh, so the first thing is this one you're gonna be manually downloading. You're going to be putting this in your root folder. So I downloaded this version here. Uh, the other mods you can mod manager download and install them through mod manager. But this one I've manually downloaded. So you'll end up with three folders, right? Or three files. So this is your first file. This is the, the Starsfield, Starfield Upscaler. I keep saying Starsfield. All right. And then you need to download the Upscaler base plugin. So click on this link. So get first extract this mod itself into the game's root folder where the executable is. So starfield.exe. And there's also a data folder. Do not go into the data folder. You want this in the root folder go click on this link upscaler base plugin this will take you to here now when you download this you just do the manual download and you also will need to get either dlss or xess which can be downloaded here so you have to click this link download it from there so that'll get you a file this one gets you a file so let's go back to here so you take the three files you take the upscaler base plugin this specific file this dll Put it into mods slash upscaler base plugin. This mods folder will be in this mod. So when you download this mod, there'll be an empty folder. You, you, you place this DLL in that folder. Then you download either the DLLS, the DLSS DLL, or the XESS DLL, and then place them in the same folder you placed this, this file in. And then once you run the game, you just hit the end key and then you can select either and it'll be working. This gave me a massive increase in performance because essentially what it does from what I understand is it runs the game at a lower resolution, but then uses like some kind of technology to upscale it, but it doesn't look worse. It doesn't like pixelate or look bad. So basically you're just running the game at a lower resolution while getting the benefit of it being higher resolution looking. So this gave me, this pushed me into being able to run it from low on one PC into medium without any fps drop and like like stable fps so that was huge uh and i'm running it on a 2070 uh base like no it's not a 2070 super so it's a 2070 rtx you know average graphics card on this pc 
So this one is a huge game changer. So these next mods will set you up for better menu interaction and a faster loading time for booting the game up. So the first one is base starfield custom.ini to enable loose file mods. So this one, you just download the file. That's, you know, manual download. It gives you a starfield custom any. Now this will go into your users, your username, documents, my games, starfield file or folder. And what it does is it allows certain mods to work that affect different aspects of the game. And essentially this is what's in the file. Now you can create it yourself or just download it. It even says, where, here's where it goes. So you're gonna need this, right? All right, so the next mod, this is amazing. Clean field, no intro videos, clean menu fix. So I am running the Vortex version. I was able to mod manager download this. What this does is it does this. It takes the main menu, <laughs> he's an angry Tano. <laughs> I feel so bad for him, he gets memed on, he gets dunked on so much. All right, so it removes like the logo. There is one with the logo if you want it, but it removes like this, it removes the intros. So you don't have to watch the intros, it just removes them and just immediately pushes you to the main menu. So if you're gonna be playing this game a lot, like I am, you're gonna to wanna to have none of these intro menus. So this removes them and it's just nice to have. Quick and easy to download, you just need that any or that starfield custom any okay the next one undelayed menus now this is a work in progress where they specify for now undelayed menus only affects inventory container menus and all hold to exit buttons so here's what it does it just makes this faster this is nice this is snappier this is faster now as this mod author continues to work on this i believe they will you know make traveling faster all these like menu interactions so probably by the time this mod is fully finished it will affect everything, but for now, here's what it affects. So I would just update this mod as it gets updated, like just download the new version. But this is nice, it just speeds up your gameplay, it makes the game a little bit more responsive. And to wrap up, we have this Reddit post that is very helpful, this will be linked as well. This is an optimized gaming. So this is Starfield Any Tweaks. Now these are settings you can enable or disable to fix a lot of aspects of Starfield. So if you want to disable temporal anti-aliasing, you can do that by adding this display in the Starfield custom. Uh, from what I understand, you can't disable this normally. And you can also alter, you can turn off mouse acceleration. This is important. So if you are used to no mouse acceleration, mouse acceleration is when you move the mouse quickly, it moves more. And when you move it slowly, it moves less. So it doesn't care about the distance, it cares about the rate of movement. So this is something that most people don't want on unless you're used to it, but very few people are in my opinion. Uh, and then also the look speed. So the X and the Y are kind of divorced from each other where they're slightly different. This is true in Fallout as well. So generally speaking, if your, your look speed pitch is 1.5, your look speed yaw will be one. Now, if these settings aren't good for you and same thing for the ADS, so the iron sight is the aim down sight, speed modifiers, if these are too fast or too slow, what you can do is just multiply both by a value and then keep doing this until you get to your speed. So I know for me, I like a 360, meaning that my turn completely around to be around seven to eight inches on my mouse pad. So I have like a specific marker on my mouse pad for that so that when I play different FPS games, my look sensitivity is consistent. So what I did is I multiplied the 1.5 and the one by like 0.9 so reduce it by 10% to get it down to where the speed was correct. Now you can increase it or decrease it, but keep in mind that these are connected. So multiply both of these by the same, these are connected. So if you want your iron sights to be the same 360, you know, whatever amount of distance, you can tweak both of them. I had to manually adjust both of these and then also turning mouse acceleration off is huge because it just makes your aim more consistent. Uh, there's also FOV settings. So you can change the flight camera and the base camera. So this is for FOV 100 in Starfield Custom Any. So that's the file I had you download earlier. Uh, some of these are in Custom Any. Some are in the Starfield Prefs.any, which should already exist. You usually will have to create the Custom.any. It shouldn't exist by default. You'll have to make it you know, yourself or download the one file and place it in the same folder as this one. So this one just disables VSync. And then this is the exact same thing. This was the one mod that does, you know, that gives you Starfield custom and he has this in it already. So that's all this is. 
or loading loose files. And then of course, if you want to raise anisotropic filtering, you can do that. Uh, or disable camera shake, which is kind of nice, uh, if you want that. But the FOV settings, the mouse acceleration, and the aim stuff, this is essential. I downloaded this almost immediately. And the mouse acceleration, that's a must have. So after you have all those mods installed, you should end up with a pretty smooth result. And if the game is still lagging, you might just have to adjust your graphical settings. Also make sure to update your graphics drivers. Both of those things will help. So right now I'm running the game on like medium detail on an RTX 2070, which is reasonable because it's not like it's not even RTX 2070 Super or TI or anything like that. But it's quite smooth. It's quite responsive with all these tweaks. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, you found this useful, definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know if you found any other things to improve the game's performance outside of these or if these are working for you. You might have some hiccups with getting some things to work through Vortex. So you might have to check like the little bell icon in the Vortex launcher to elevate some of the mods. I'm not really sure exactly what elevation does, but I think it just has to do with like access and security or something like that. So it like enables the mod to function essentially. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe and I'll see you next one. Peace.